immerse myself in the goodness. Okay, so one of the main questions that I always get as an esthetician is what school did I go to and do I recommend it? The answer is Chococci and no. Absolutely fucking not. It was terrible. This story time isn't really a story time. It's really more so a timeline of fucked up events that happened to me while I was in aesthetic school. Um, so it's going to be like kind of all over the place. It's going to jump a little bit back and forth here and there. But for the most part, it's just the shit that happened from the start to the finish and reasons why I absolutely would not recommend Trococci. No. Um, for one, one of the main things is the school is, it's an eight month program. It's like an eight and nine month program. I started in December of 2019. I am a COVID student. So I was in school when the shutdown, when the quarantine started and everything else. Um, I was supposed to graduate in August of 2020. I wound up graduating in September because of like just a bunch of fucked up shit happening when they switched us to Zoom because of the quarantine. One of the main reasons why I don't um, recommend that school to anybody is because they were just extremely unorganized. And one of the main, main, main examples, a major red flag that happened is what took place while we took our finals. So, as I said, I am an esthetician. Um, I've been working for myself for a little bit over a year. When you're in school, you take a final, but the final is a two-part final. The first part is going to be when you take the book part, but then the second part is the actual live person has to come in for you to do services on them. So you have to wax this live person, you have to do a facial on this person, the back treatment, so on and so forth. After you pass that final, you are able to work on the salon. I drew a diagram. Because that's going to come in handy. But when you pass your final, you're able to work on the salon floor. Another thing that I didn't like about Trucochi, which I think might be all esthetician schools, is that once you're on the floor and you're working for the school, you are making real money for the school, but you only get to keep the tips. So you're doing real services. You're really working. Um, the school is really getting paid for it, but you only get to keep the tips. And, of course, tips aren't guaranteed. I feel like that's free labor. Like, oh. Uh, I'm not no fucking slave, G. What the fuck? Like, what? Why am I paying y'all tuition and making y'all money and then I get to keep a tip if I get a tip? Like, what? I ain't like that. I didn't like that shit. That shit rubbed me the wrong way. So, what I told myself is that as soon as I pass this final and I'm good enough to make y'all money, I'm going to make me some money. Because what the fuck? Like, no. The main things is what happened while we took our final. So, we had to take all this furniture from one end of the school to the other end of the school and it was by the call of a fucking teacher it wasn't even the administrator it wasn't nobody that was like a higher rub she had any type of authority nothing like i think they might be okay so back to my diagram um let me explain this situation to y'all okay when you come in this is the front door this is the front desk this is like a waiting area this is before covid keep that in mind so all of this is full of people like real people off the street so when you walk in, this is the front door, this is the desk, all of this is like a walk area. This down here, because it was a decent sized school. So this is the front door, you walk straight down. This is a room, a spa room for aesthetic students. And then this down here, down this hallway, this is another spa room for aesthetic students. The spa rooms have everything that you would need for a spa. There's a sink, which is a big deal because we really need to keep emptying the water, fresh like stuff like that or whatever. There's a sink, there's cabinets full of products, there are massage beds, there are wax pots, there are spa equipment like LED machines, microdermabrasion machines, like all the stuff that we need as aesthetic students obviously is in the aesthetic space. She had us move all this fucking furniture. She had us move all this furniture from here up, away, away, there. All of this fucking furniture, two massage beds, all like everything we need to take our final, we had to move literally across the fucking school, across the school. What? And the reason that they made us move all this shit across the school is because when we in there, we was part time and then there's a full time class. There's a gap in between the students or whatever. So one of the things that they didn't tell us is that we have to have lab models to come in. They never told us that when we signed up, for which wound up being a big deal because not only do you have to find another person who can clear their schedule to come up here, they also have to travel up here. We were all the way on the north side of Chicago. Like what? Finals was a week long. So 
she's like oh we're gonna do it this week this week this week this week the friday well i ain't gonna say friday the wednesday before the week of finals they was like okay it's gonna be the next week after that so now everybody fucked i wasn't thankfully but everybody else was just fucked it's like how are we supposed to find somebody that can clear their schedule and make it up here and woo -woo? like that was just the big end. major 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 fuck up and if you ever think about going to school please bear in mind that for the most part you are going to have to have people to come in and be able to be your model for your testing so, full-time student um the gap wasn't supposed to overlap like we were supposed to have both of the aesthetics classrooms to take our finals but they pushed our finals back so then we wound up taking the finals like the the second part the part where the last person comes in we wound up taking that the day that um the the new full-time students came in so it's their first day they obviously finna just introduce themselves go over the syllabus shit like that blah blah, blah. my teacher and the full-time teacher talked amongst themselves for the full-time teacher to go to the barber room and just do their first day in there because it's not an important day like they're not really doing anything she understood that this was a big day for us this is our final like it's just common sense random fucking teacher bitches like oh no we got to make a good impression to stay first day woo, woo, blah blah what what the fuck bitch so you think it's more important for these motherfuckers to sit in this room that we need so they can play ring around a rosy and introduce their fucking self and shake hands and share their favorite color and shit while we have live people changing in the furnace closet okay i had to switch phones but anyway so man y'all this is before the quarantine even happened so this is the barber room all of this is the salon and it's full of people including grown men like it's just full of people so this is the closest bathroom they would have to walk through this with a spiral bone past all these people just to get here and this door doesn't even lock like they had no no privacy whatsoever and they wound up changing in the furnace closet like a nasty dusty disgusting ass furnace closet like i was livid about that shit. i got attitude I got an attitude because it don't make sense and I need somebody to explain to me why I'm doing this dumb ass shit in the morning that I, I just got off work. It's early as fuck in the morning and I'm moving furniture across the fucking school. I need somebody to explain it to me because you're not an administrator. You don't have no pull as far as I'm concerned. You telling these two teachers what to do and I don't know why these hoes is listening to you, but you're not going to sit here and just run that shit at me. I need some type. Somebody needs to explain something to me. So my teacher and a full-time teacher, they like, it's okay. It's okay. I'm like, no, it's not okay. I need an explanation. This does not make a lick of fucking sense. What's going on right now? Like what? What? The lady like, what's wrong? I'm like, this don't make sense. Why are we doing this? What the fuck? Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this, G? What the fuck? Like, what? So then when we finally did get to talk to the actual administrator, the bitch who really calls the shots, and shit, we finally get to talk to her. And I'm like, why was she allowed to make that call? Like, to my knowledge, and correct me if I'm wrong, she's just a cosmetology student. Not to downgrade her profession, but she's not an administrator. She she has no pull to make that call. Why was that allowed? She was like, well, it's just not going to happen again, blah, blah, blah. Like, the bitch never gave us the answer for why we moved furniture halfway across the fucking school. Not even halfway. Clear across the fucking school. Like, what? It was just like that that was a really 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 big 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 thing for me i didn't like the way that that shit went down i didn't like the way that that shit was handled afterwards i didn't like the disregard for us the disregard for our guests it was just ridiculous it was pathetic that was the most unprofessional shit i've ever seen in my life like and i've went to a lot of places i've been to a lot of different schools not even just like high school i've been a cna i have been a phlebotomist i've been a bunch of shit that was the bottom of the fucking barrel never seen no shit like that in my life never seen an explanation i've never seen professionals behave that way before like i was so disgusted and disappointed and it's like when the shutdown happened obviously nobody's expecting the pandemic to occur but the way that they handled it was trash it was terrible it was just like fucking it, it was ridiculous the long story short part of that is that we went on zoom the last day that we were on zoom we went back to school like in the building the monday before the fourth of july so the day before that friday before our teacher pulled us into individual rooms she told us how many hours we had we counted our hours from the first day to the day that was current and she told us like what work was missing so on and so forth blah 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 yada yada she also told us that we had these binders that are basically like senior binders but for estheticians and she was like you know how much of the binder do you have done blah 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 which plays a, a important role too this fucking lady um i dropped out i dropped out because i was just fucking tired of that shit like it was it was ridiculous we weren't doing shit but busy work i had started working so when you in school like the final that i was just talking about when you in school you take that final you can start working in the salon that i was talking about because we can take salon clients too like in the actual spa rooms 
So when you work for them, though, you don't get paid, which is another thing that I didn't like. You don't get paid, they get paid, but you get to keep the tip if you get a tip. So I decided, like, after I pass my final and I'm good enough to work for y'all, I'm going to work for me. Because why am I paying y'all and making y'all money? And then I'm just asked out, like, no. So, okay, whatever. Um, I passed my final and I started working at home. I had got, like, my little setup in my front room. I got a room divider, so it was privacy and everything. Like, I was just good to go. I was burp tag trained. I was, I was good. So you go back to school. I already know. I dropped out because I was tired of that shit. Like, I could be taking clients right now. And the time that y'all got me sitting here doing definitions because it ain't shit else for us to do. I could be in my living room. I could be taking clients. I could be making money. Like, the thought of me just sitting here wasting time and not making money used to burn a hole in my ass. Like, I hated it. It used to drive me crazy. So, I did drop out for a week. Thank God my classmates just had my back for whatever reason. Because I know I'm not really, like, talkative in school or in public, period. I'm just not talkative. So, for whatever reason, they really fucked with me. And they used to send me this one classmate in specific used to send me all the work. So, I, I never fell behind for real. I just had to make up my hours. Like, I knew I dropped out for that week. I knew I had to make up that week worth of um, hours. But, like I said, if you come in on Saturdays, that makes two days. So, I'm like, shit, fuck this shit. I'm going to come in a couple Saturdays. That should be back right. Like, it ain't that ain't shit to me. Get to school. Bro, they pushed my graduation day back like a month. Yeah, I was blue. I'm like, what the fuck is going on right now? I asked my teacher like to come talk to the administrator with me about my hours. This lady in long and short tells me, she tells all of us, because all our hours was fucked up, but mine was fucked up the most. Like, And they fixed everybody else's hours. They just never fixed my shit. Like, They just never fixed my shit. Everybody was saying, like, Shoshana stuff need to be fixed, too. They never fixed my shit, bro. Like, that, It was just crazy. Like, I couldn't understand that shit. The teacher told us, like, oh, she lost all of her time um, when she switched. Because when we went back to school, so we went back to school the Monday before the 4th of July. The teacher, like, oh, telling us everything, blah, blah, blah. She's like, all right, I love y'all. I'll see y'all Monday. I'm so excited to see everybody, to be back in person. We're back in the building. We get to school. The full-time teacher walk up to us. She's like, all right, y'all, let's get to it. we like, huh? What? She like, um, she ain't saying how did we were switching. We like, no. She like, yeah, y'all, we switched classes. She gonna take the full time people now. I'm gonna finish y'all out for the year. Woo -woo. Like, what the fuck? The lady was coming to school, not talking to us. Like, she didn't say shit to us for like two or three days. Like, one of my classmates had to say something to her. Like, damn, you don't know us or something. Like, you gonna just walk past us? Like, you don't know us? You already didn't even tell us that we wasn't with you no more. Like, damn, what's going on? Like, just weird. Like, we went back. I was in the office every single day fighting for my hours and to no event. Like, I never got my hours fixed. And I wasn't trying to, like, sneak and wheeze out of making that shit up. I'm just trying to make up what's for me to make up. You feel me? I don't have a problem coming in and doing these Saturdays. Because I know it's only going to take two or three Saturdays. Because they count as two days. I only missed a week worth of school. Like, that shit wasn't shit. And then the other thing is you can come in 30 minutes early. And that'll count. But if I'm coming in 30 minutes early every single day. Like, and y'all, I was a CNA. I'm on the boot list. So, if you're from Chicago, you know what that is. And if you're not, I hope. Y'all don't get that raggedy ass shit, but I was paying fifty dollars a week to park in this garage, and I do like ten to six or eleven to seven, and I get off work and I will go and park in the garage and go to sleep for a couple hours, which was dangerous as hell. And by the grace of God, nothing ever happened to me. But I'm getting out of school, like I'm getting off work, I'm coming here, I'm sleeping for a minute, I'm coming, and I'm making sure I get here thirty minutes early because I'm two feet away in this garage. You feel me? But if I'm here thirty minutes early five days a week, why is my date not moving why is my time not moving like why the math ain't mathing what's going on and i kept i was in the when i say i was in the office every day i was crying every single day like i was crying i cried every day from july till i graduated like that shit was so stressful it was terrible like time i was a cna so i was working agency and i was making like 85 dollars a day because that specific job paid out every day with 85 dollars a day i started doing esthetician work I made like three, that was the first time I ever made $300 in one day. So I'm in school unnecessarily because I'm not even supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be graduated by now. So that's burning the hole in me. Like that's setting me on fire. I'm just like, damn, what the fuck? Like this shit, this shit in a way, this school shit in a way, I could be getting to it right now. Like I got clients in school with a cancellation list. Like what the fuck? 
what y'all in my way i'm in this dumb ass school not doing shit i'm tired of being in here i want to go home and i want to make some money like i'm tired of this shit just just pissing me off i said we had these binders that we had to do we make the fucking binders and then um oh well like before we went back to school she's like oh she put everybody's head told y'all like what y'all had to do whatever the lady told me do not come you can't get through the door without that binder so i'm panicking because like I said, as soon as that dumb ass zoom shit was off i was getting right to it i had people right 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 back to back back to back i never went outside that whole summer nothing i was always taking clients so i never had time for that body that my head is fuck this body i got money to make like you feel me this this shit is this way more important than that shit right now so she like oh don't come school without that body you ain't getting through dough without that band i'm like fuck i'm fucked up now now I'm, now that shit kind of matter now you know what i'm saying i wound up asking one of my classmates because we had like a group chat or whatever i wound up asking one of my classmates they was like well we ain't got that binder done nobody had the binder done <laughs> Nobody had the fucking binder done. Like, what? So she tells the new teacher, the full-time teacher who took us in, she's like, um, not only are the binders done, but they're, and this is a verbatim quote, they're done and beautiful. The bitch is a lunatic. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Nobody's binder is done. What are you talking about? She's a lunatic. She was a lunatic and a fucking liar. It was just like, crazy. She started off as this sweet, nice-ass old lady, and then we really just saw the wool get pulled from over our ass. Mm -hmm. They never fixed my hours in short never fixed my fucking hours i was supposed to graduate in august i wanted to graduate in september so with that being said um i didn't have i didn't like the administrator she had a smart ass mouth and when i tried to talk to her about my hours it's like she just never listened to it she didn't believe me my teacher wouldn't bag me up for whatever reason so it was just like i was asked out all right whatever at some point i just accepted defeat i was like all right fuck it. i'm just gonna be in school till i'm done it ain't nothing i can do about that shit i'm just here it's just that it is what it is. And I drew another diagram. This is the classroom. This is the door. These are two massage beds. This is me. This is my other classmate. And then this is my old teacher who we didn't have anymore. Okay? So the lady comes in the room and she's like, hey, Shoshana. I'm like, what up? Like, hey. Hey. You know I'm like you. I used to, like, hey. So she like, um, did you ever get your hours fixed? I'm like, I don't want to talk about that. Like, I don't want to talk about that. You didn't help me when I asked you for help. So why are we talking about it right now? That doesn't make sense. I told this lady three times. I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to talk about this. When I get mad, me talking is only going to hype me up. Like, I'm only going to keep hyping myself up. So I don't want to talk about that. That's a real sensitive subject for me. The lady like, um, well, do you have a relationship with her with the administrator? I'm like, no. She like, well, I mean, like, do you have any type of relationship with her at all? I'm like, no, I don't. Why are you asking that? I have a relationship with the time clock. I don't have a relationship with her, and I don't see the need for one. What? And she kept asking me that shit. I'm like, what's the correlation between me having a relationship with her and my hours being corrected? Because it's starting to get a little weird that you steady asking me this same weird She just kept talking to me after I told her repeatedly, I don't want to talk about it. Like, I don't have a relationship with her. Clearly, that's what you're trying to get at, so I still don't want to talk about that shit. And she wouldn't be white. So I'm like, all right, if you're not going to stop talking to me, I'm just going to remove myself. I'm sitting right here. This is the door. I'm just walking. La, 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 la. The lady get the speed walking. She's like, you don't got to move yourself. I'll move myself. Speed walking from here cuts me off. Gets to the door first. And then she closes the door behind her. So she hit me with the fucking door. I push the door. Over. I'm like, and hey, don't fucking hit me. Like, have you lost your fucking man? What's wrong with y'all? Like, what's going on? I don't talk. There's people that have been around me for years and have never heard me fucking talk. So now I'm snapping in the middle of the fucking hallway because for one, you bothering me about some shit that's really irritating. And then for two, you just hit me with a fucking door. Like, what the, what the fuck? What? Another thing I didn't like is how they handled that situation. I had a classmate, like I said, this is me sitting at the end. This is my other classmate. The classmate um, was going to tell the student lady, like, oh, you know, that was a real fucked up situation that just happened. Y'all need to handle that because that was ridiculous. Like, Shoshana was trying to literally remove herself, and she just hit her with a door. That's like a real, that's like, that's not who y'all need to handle that. She's trying to give a statement about what just happened. They told her, like, oh, we don't need your statement. But then they try to get two statements from the two teachers that was in the hallway what i said y'all better stop fucking playing with me bro y'all crazy the lady literally asked me like it's an apology off the table i said of course it is for me to hurt her it will never happen like no disrespect to you if that was your idea but it'll never happen you will never see it you will never see it i will never apologize to her she just hit me with a fucking door y'all lucky i ain't push her old ass down like what what the fuck like what everything about that school was like you won't print should have pressed charges on that bitch because she was 
just the old psycho bitch. It goes back to our hours being fucked up. So the time clock literally, this one got to do with the time clock, but the time clock was so fucked up. You could punch in. I was literally sitting in my class, G, like the same class that that stuff just happened with the teacher. I'm sitting in the classroom, like this the door, this me sitting right here, but this the door, but I could like, I'm sitting right here actually, so I could see out the door. The time clock right there. This boy punch in and he get the snap and he like, did you just see that? Did you just see that? I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I'm thinking he's seeing the mouse or something because I'm scared of Mike. Punched himself in and they clocked him in as a teacher. What? Y'all need to fix that. What the fuck? Every other day we come in, the time clock off the wall because it's fucked up. Like, well, y'all need to do something about this. This is how we graduate. Do something about it. Fix it. When they put us on Zoom, the lady, this story time all over the place. I am so sorry. But anyway. When we was on Zoom, my teacher, the original teacher, she was like an older lady from Mississippi, so she don't know what she's doing. Like, she's not hip to technology or whatever. We wouldn't get our Zoom invitation until like 9, 15, 9, 20 or something. We have to be in school at 9 o'clock, though. Even though it seems like, oh, it was just 15 minutes, that shit adds up because, like I said, we graduate by time. So, it got to one point we had a morning meeting, the administrator, like, oh, y'all don't be on uh, at the right time. We finna start docking time. Woo -woo. Classmates, she was like, Okay, well, that's a problem for us because we don't be getting our invitation until whatever o'clock. Imagine we get the email invitation. The lady tell her, that's a, uh, she didn't say that's a lie, but she like, that's not true. Um, Y'all get it every day at 9 o'clock or whatever o'clock or whatever. She like, no. And this like, how are you going to tell us what time we get an email that has a time? What the fuck are you talking about? What? We can literally just screenshot that shit and show you that... This is what time we get this bitch every single fucking day. Like, what are you talking about? So, she's like, um, well, I need to talk to you. When can I talk to you? She's like, well, you can talk to me at the class. She's like, okay, well, um, when is that? She like, well, don't you get out of school? Don't you get out of class at 2 o'clock? She's like, okay, well, can I talk to you at 2 o'clock? She's like, well, if I ain't in the meeting. This bitch has lost her marbles. What? You, it, uh, what? You need an etiquette class. Like, you need, you need a management class. You need some type of fucking class to teach you how to talk to people. Because you clearly lost your rabbit ass man. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Well, I will never forget that conversation. Like, that conversation plays in my head so much. I can't, I just couldn't believe it. It's like, you're just a rude bitch for nothing. There was a lot of other minor situations, but these are just, like, the big ones. Um, the last thing is that, for one, they were just super unorganized, period. Work was always getting lost. Tests were always getting messed up, everything like that. But when it came down to our certification, like when we came to get our diplomas, we had to fight for the diplomas. Like it's like we finally get through all this stuff. We get through going through Zoom, we get through this shutdown, we get through this quarantine. All we want is our fucking diploma. That's it. Somebody takes the group chat and they like, did anybody get their diploma yet? One of the other classmates respond and she like, uh, well, I called up there and I asked her when were we getting our diploma and she told me it's just a certification. She didn't say just, but she like, she told me it's um, a certification and they don't have the template for it or something like that. So then another week goes past and another classmate says something like, has anybody heard anything about the diplomas? She like, yeah, I called up there and I got the rude ass administrator and she said the same thing about the template. So I'm like, hmm. Yeah, that's not gonna work for me. Like, no, somebody need to do something. Like, I need to get my fucking certificate and I need to be done. I gave y'all y'all money. I done paid off this all this fucking shit. Give me my shit so I can never see y'all again. Okay? I looked so, up and I get the rude ass administrator and she said the same thing. She's like, well, we ain't got the template. I'm like, okay, so when are y'all gonna have it? Because we graduated a month ago and we still don't have our certificate. She's like, well, I don't know. As soon as we get it, we gonna let y'all know. So I hung up on her ass and I called corporate because bitch now. I ain't got no reason to not call corporate. I should have been calling corporate on her ass the whole time. So I called the corporate lady. I'm like, hey, um, first of all, I had a terrible experience at this school from start to finish. I just want to throw that out there. But even now that it's over, the, the torture continues because we can't even get our certificate. I said, first of all, they were very disrespectful. They, um, we asked them when were we getting our diploma. They corrected us and told us that it's just a certification. I mean, it's just a certificate and that they don't have the template. They lost the template and blah, blah, blah. But I graduated a month ago. My classmates have graduated almost two months ago because I was one of the last people to graduate and none of us have our, um, our diploma. Like, I'm not saying I had a call or I had a voicemail the next fucking day telling me to come pick my shit up. Why does it take that? Like, why does it take that? Year? So I go up there, the fucking lady who was supposed to have it wasn't there. So then the rude ass administrator come out and she like, um, you here for your stuff. Obviously, bitch, I ain't here to say, hey, like, what? What? 
So she like looking for it and shit. And I know exactly where it's at because the lady said on the voicemail where it's at. But I'm just sitting here watching you look for it because y'all need to be more organized. Why you don't know where these at? And you here and you got to be one to pass them out and she's gone. So you're going to just sit here and look and shit. So then she finally asked me like, oh, did she say where they was going to be? I'm like, yeah, she said they're going to be in that drawer right there. So she gives the shit to me and I snatch that shit out of her hand. She's like, um, you, I what? What, are, what am I walking for? I'm like, for what? For what? Bitch, I hate you, bitch. Like, you just made my life a living fucking hell for no reason. Like, that school was terrible. It was a horrible experience. Um, zero out of ten. So, y'all want to hear a funny story? Um, the lady that I told y'all was, like, being weird and trying to make me go full time to sign us up for school. She was actually on flavor. She was, like, this real tall white lady. And I thought she was just, like, a hippie. Like, she was, she not old, but she just, like, this tall skinny like just chilled out always smiling happy ass lady like all right well the other thing how you could tell like it was just a fucked up situation so much of the staff had quit since we started and like i said it's only like an eight or nine month program when i say like half the staff had quit half the staff had quit one of the teachers had walked into my room she was another teacher that was like she had like a relationship with the full-time teacher who we wound up she walked into the room she was like um you better get ass because i'm finna quit and i was like period quit quick because i already know you're talking about this irritating ass administrator like that bitch is one of the people that get a little bit of power and she just goes crazy like she made our life so fucking difficult like unnecessarily difficult it was just like you just unhappy with yourself like that's the type of person she is i really think she's just not happy like you just you just mad at the world you need to fight your demons if she ever see this i just hope you really get the fuck over yourself like ugh. i'm jumping all over the place but even when they told us like oh this is this like giving us our walk through and our orientation They're like oh this is the administrator everybody thinks she's mean but she's really not you just got to get to know her spend some of your lunches with her blah 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 yada yada come talk to her in the morning no that sounds like ass kissing and i'm not gonna do that what spend my lunches with her no i'm gonna spend my motherfucking lunch on my phone so i'm gonna spend my lunch with twitter what the fuck are you talking about i'm not gonna spend my lunch with her i don't have to why why do we have to do that you pick this job. Why do you got a fucking attitude to think people supposed to kiss your ass to make you happy for a job? Like, it's, it was just ridiculous. Like, you could tell that she used to playing, like, the bench role and everybody kissing her ass and shit. And I'm not with that shit. My whole class wasn't with that shit. Like, no, we don't have to. We don't have to. We still gonna graduate anyway. We might take a little bit longer, but we'd rather bite the bullet and just take a little bit longer than kiss your ass. Because, girl, fuck you. Like, no. It's just random. It was a fire drill. Well, it wasn't even a fire drill. It was a fire. They had a fire at the fucking school, and then we had to go on Zoom the next day. But they don't tell us, like, oh, you got to take your iPad, because you get an iPad when you start school. You do your test on your iPad. You submit your homework on your iPad. Everything's through the iPad. But you don't have to take it home every day. Like, you don't have to, because most of your homework ain't going to be due the same day or whatever. Oh. So, it's a fucking fire. We can't come to school the next day. Like, all right, everybody on Zoom. But I'm like, shit, I don't take that iPad at home, like... I cracked my shit. I I cracked my shit. So I just leave it there because I don't I don't want to crack it again. Like what the fuck is already fucked up? It's like they was like, oh okay, well for the people that's not on Zoom today, we're not gonna count it against you. They counted it against us. What the fuck? Like what? It was so much fool shit going on. That shit was crazy. I hate that fucking school. I'm so glad I'm out of here. I said my shirt on party. My uniform shirt. When I graduated, that's fucking. But yeah, um, this was just a story time. This wasn't really in depth about school necessarily, and I know people have like actual questions about school, like what do you go over, how much did it cost, what's included, so on and so forth. So if you guys would like another video, an uh, actual video like about the school, like about the coursework and stuff like that, comment your questions and I'll make another one. I'm also gonna have my friend. Um, she went to G-Skin, she's an esthetician as well. She went to G-Skin and we're gonna compare and contrast like G-Skin to Chacochi, but only if y'all wanna see. So just comment and let me know. Um, let me know. If y'all like this video, if I should talk louder or lower or whatever, just help me. This was my first one. Let me know.